go to the ChatGPT website. I'm going to be using the free version of ChatGPT and not ChatGPT4 for the simple reason that I want this to be applicable to as many of you as possible. I'm assuming that uh, many of you haven't paid for it, but you all have access to the free version of ChatGPT. There may be some exceptions depending on what country you're in, so you have to inform yourself about that. But by and large, most of you should have access to this and uh, you can just access the website. I think you have to give your email address and then you're in. Now, right off the bat, many of you might be thinking about all the problems and issues that ChatGPT has, especially as regards translation, but even for other things. And it's true. You should not rely on ChatGPT to come up with facts. You should not ask it any questions that are fact-based, that require fact-based answers, because it will probably mess them up. So when you're asking it to write a cover letter or an introductory letter for you, you can't just assume that it knows anything about you or anything about the job. And so you have to feed it that information. So a lot of you might think, well, okay, then if I have to let it know that I went to this and that school and I studied this and that, and then this is all my experience and I'm available for whatever this, I mean, at that point, I might as well just write my own cover letter because it's going to take more time to feed it all the information rather than just do it myself. And that's true, but luckily you don't have to do all that. So let me show you how simple it is. I think the best way to do this is to do it with some practice rather than theory. So I'm going to do this using my own information. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my resume and just copy the whole thing. And here I'm going to write... Write a cover letter based on this resume. There you go. And it wrote out the whole thing for me. As you can see, it has a bunch of information. You don't have to include it if you don't want to, or you can if you want to. I'm writing to express my strong interest in the Italian to English translator position at whatever, advertise on where you found the job posting, etc., etc. And uh, it includes a bunch of information. But let's say I want to specify, because you can build off your answers on ChatGPT, so let's do that right now. Let's say I want to specify that it's for a freelance financial translation position. Financial translation job, I should say, not position. And there you go. As you can see, it concentrates a lot more on my financial background, finance and fiscal policy. I've gained extensive experience in translating financial documents, including annual reports, financial statements, investment analyses, etc. Now you can build off this in many ways. Needless to say, you can then uh, decide to do the same thing for legal translations, or you can tell it that you want it to sound more professional or to concentrate more on this and less on that. And uh, so you can play around with it however you see fit. I'm not gonna do too much of that. But let's say you wanna simplify this process even more. And let's say there's a job on pros.com, you're applying to that job on pros.com, and you want ChatGPT to help you with that. So let's do that. So we're gonna take this job. This is a job that I posted and I'm using this one just because I don't have permission to use anyone else's. And uh, I'm just gonna copy the job and then I'm gonna write for this job posting. And I'm just gonna paste everything here and let's see what happens. I'm writing a response to your job posting dated 27th October 2018 for the Italian to English translation of quality assurance, etc., etc. And this seems like a pretty decent cover letter or introductory letter. It does seem a bit long, so let's see if we can make it a bit shorter. So here, this is a bit shorter. Now at this point, let me show you a couple other things you can do. If you're not happy with the answer that it gave you, you can try to regenerate an answer just by clicking here.
and you still have access to the previous answer by clicking on this. In fact, now that I read through it, I see something else is missing. So let's see if I can include this. And here it adds pricing information as well. Now, some of you at this point might be thinking, okay, this is cheating. This isn't writing a real cover letter and it shouldn't be done this way. And I mean, you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to, absolutely not. I just wanted to show you that the option exists. Some, on the other hand, some of you might be thinking, well, great, I'm never gonna write a cover letter again. I'm just gonna copy and paste everything uh, from the job posting to my resume into ChatGPT and let it handle everything. This is a mistake as well. You should A, read everything that's written here in the job posting to make sure you're suitable for it. And there's specific reasons why I say this. You might have noticed here, it says, please write a tie to English QA in your subject line. And ChatGPT did not do that. So you do need to pay attention and make sure that ChatGPT followed all the instructions. As I mentioned, it can get some of the facts wrong, even when you fed it the facts just then and there. Now, another thing I noticed here, it says, I'm also open to splitting the project to meet your deadline. That doesn't really mean anything. So you do want to read through it and make sure that it makes sense and that it follows the instructions. And by the way, this does not include my pros.com profile. If I'm emailing them, I might want to include a link to that. So think of it more as just a help and a way to simplify the process so you can spend less time writing cover letters and these applications and more time actually performing translations.